for a long time, I'd say since the age of like 16, I've kind of been on the fence, but I'd still kind of practice Islam in the past. And unfortunately, I'd even gone as far as like kiss the black stone and everything. But it came to a tipping point recently. And I, I don't know if this is like divine intervention or something, but I just suddenly out of nowhere, like your videos and Christian Prince and David Wood, those guys, it just started popping up on my feed more. And I kind of just organically gained an interest that I've never had before. And I remember I laid down in bed and I wanted to like, sorry if I get emotional, I wanted to like take a nap or something. And I, I did, I, I laid down and then out of nowhere, I'm laying in my bed looking up at the ceiling. I hear this demonic kind of growling thing speaking in something I didn't understand in my ear, right in my ear. And I know it wasn't a hallucination. I know that for sure. It felt so real. And I wasn't I wasn't sure if I was frightened or not. I was kind of just staring into space and listening to this. And I thought, in all the things that have happened in my life, I guess this is happening too, right? And then I'm listening to this thing and it's like threatening me and it's just clearly omin ominous and not nice, right? And it knocked me into like this dream. I just, I, I felt like I got slapped into sleep. And I had this strange dream where I was in this strange field and I was like this kind of in some strange body and I'm like rolling around this field and there are other ones around me and these other people are like almost speaking in like a kind of growling tongue. I wasn't sure if they were other Muslims or demons or something, but they're all kind of congregating around this one kind of gate on the side, like into a cave and there's someone like kind of leading them in there. And in that moment, and I was, this was the most fearful thing I've ever had in my life. And I felt, I was cave, huh? so, so outside a cave, but people, someone was leading them in. So someone's taking them in a cave and it's dark, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm in like this field and these like strange people, entities are being led in by this other person. And in my head, I'm wondering, is this, at first I thought, is that the Prophet Muhammad or something? Like, is he leading people astray or something, you know? But I knew for a fact, because I had this feeling in me that this is not the right way and that right that like this is this is basically like the way to hell or something like that to damnation and i decided on the spot like, okay no I, I i'm terrified i need to get out of here i'm scared i want i want to leave this place i don't want this anymore so i turned around and i ran i ran and ran and i felt horrible kind of intent from all these things behind me i i felt they knew what was going on they knew like he's leaving he's leaving when to go kill him and go get him and i kept running and running terrified for my life truly terrified for my life thinking i'm gonna die and then I, I, I found this pool of water and I wow. intuit found I in pool of water, right? Yeah, big pond. And I intuitively just jumped into it. Mm. Something just I just I just did it without thinking. I just went into it and I'm and I'm like trying to escape and I'm like swimming to the bottom and I'm slowly like beginning to drown. And there was some kind of like paper or some kind of tablet thing at the bottom and it's like saying, Do you wanna leave? And I'm like interacting with it and I was saying, yes, I want to leave, I wanna get out of here. And as I kept like asking and trying to like leave, this thing like almost began to like almost began to get cryptic and started like mocking me, like, You can't leave, you're trapped here forever. And at this point, I'm like I truly thought it's over for me. I'm gonna die. I'm it's I, and I just intuitively I called I said oh lord Jesus please help me like I need you something like that and as I was like drowning thinking this is the moment of my death and then I felt something behind me someone like touched me from behind and then the drowning kind of stopped and I turned around and I saw a man in like a holy light and the kind of plane I was in shifted from this like bottom of this pond to like a kind of white heavenly plain or some somewhere really nice somewhere peaceful and I turned around and obviously a bunch of thoughts were entering my mind and I immediately knew in me, I, th I think I know what's going on and who this is, but I still asked in my mind, like, who are you? And then I, I swear to you, he, he, he says to me these exact words. He said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. <laughs> and as he was saying this, I started like, well, for one, I started sobbing, sobbing like a baby. And I saw Christ in the flesh and oh, in my mind. And as he was, I think, is that a quote from John? I've John's read it before. So I think because that quote was in my memory, it came to me. And as he was saying this, I felt something I'd never felt before. So as I'm looking at him and I'm seeing him before me, I felt this warm feeling of love enter me and it just became stronger and stronger in like waves. And I felt like I was rising and being like, purified and healed as i'm like standing before and i'm i mean if i could in my dream i would have fell to my knees and just i was sobbing more or less and i was i felt like i was being risen and then i got these flashes of images of just like various images of like christ in his life and then i saw him on the on the cross i think as well and i just i remember looking at him and i was like you know i thought i was about to die and you know i lived a life of sin and i've been left led astray and all this and I was looking at him then and I thought, you did this to me and not only that, you came to me and I'm feeling these, this kind of warmth fill me in my heart. I've never felt this before in my life. As, and as I'm feeling this rise, I'm, I, I, 
I'm slowly become like uh, coming more awake. What was like a choking feeling in the water, and I mean like physical choking, like my physical body in my room. It transitioned from this physical kind of choking thing, like I'm coughing up water, to just sobbing like a baby and being filled with this absolutely indescribable love. You said you were drowning in waters, right? Yes. Save me, O oh God, for the waters have threatened my life. I have sunk in deep clay and there is no foothold. I've come into deep waters and a flood overflows me. I am I'm about to cry. Sorry. Man. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm weary with my calling out. My throat is parched. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. See why? Because he's drowning, right? The waters have threatened my life. I'm in deep yeah. waters. That's how you felt? Yeah, yeah. Those who hate me without cause are more than the hairs of my head. That's what you were sensing in the cave. The demon mocking you and they were angry and upset and agitated that you're running, right? Yeah, yeah. Those who would destroy me are powerful, being wrongfully my enemies. What I did not steal, I then have to restore. And you said you were sinful, right? Yes, uh, yeah, I, I was, undoubtedly. Oh God, it is you, you who know my, knows my folly, and all my guilt is not hidden from you. May those who hope for you not be ashamed through me, O Lord Yahweh of hosts. May those who seek you not be dishonored through me, O God of Israel. Because of your sake, I have borne reproach. Now you're saying, when you're questioning Islam, you got some bad re reactions, right? Mm, yeah. So notice here, the psalm is saying, because of you, I'm being insulted. Because, again, testifying by Jesus and people who hate Jesus, they're going to get in, uh, insulted, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now Absolutely. notice how similar it is to your story. Dishonor has covered my face. I've become a stranger from my brothers. Wow. That's what's happening to you? Yes. And a foreigner to my mother's sons. For yeah, see um... because I'm zealous for you, for your house has consumed me. And the oh reproaches God. of those who reproach you have fallen on me because I'm zealous for you and I want them to know they are attacking me. When I wept in my soul with fasting, it became my reproach. When I made sackcloth my clothing, I became a byword to them. Those who dwell at the gate moan about me and I'm the drunkard songs. They make fun of me. They persecute me. But as for me, my prayer <laughs> is to you, <clears throat> O Yahweh. At an acceptable time, O oh God, in the abundance of your loving kindness, answer me with the truth of your salvation. In other words, I want to know what the truth is and be saved. Deliver me from the mire and do not let me sink. May I be delivered from my foes and from the deep waters. That's what happened to you, right? You felt foes yeah. were chasing you? Yeah. yeah. May the flood of water not overflow me, nor the deep swallow me up, nor the pit shut its mouth on me. The cave was your pit. Yeah. Wow. Okay, now watch. Now look. Answer me, O Yahweh, for your loving kindness is good. You're a loving God. You're a faithful God. You're a good God. According to the abundance of your compassion, turn to me. And do not hide your face from your slave, for I am in distress. Answer me quickly. O oh, draw near to my soul and redeem it. Ransom me because of my enemies. You know my reproach and my shame and my dishonor. All my adversaries are before you. Reproach has broken my heart, and I am so sick. And I hoped for sympathy, but there was none. And for my comforters, I, but I found none. They also gave me gal, bitter food for my food. And my for my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. May their table before them become a snare. And when they are in peace, may it become a trap. May their eyes darken, those who want to destroy you, so that they cannot see. And make their loins quake continually. Pour out your indignation on them. And may your burning anger overtake them. May their camp be desolate. Those who want to attack me, fight against them. Protect me, Lord. May none dwell in their tents. For they have persecuted him whom you yourself have struck down. And they recount the pain of those whom you have wounded. Because God will often discipline his people because of their sin. Only to get their attention to repent. And may they not come into your righteousness. May they be blotted out. The book of life. These enemies who hate you and don't want to know you. And persecute those who love you. That's what he's saying. May they not be recorded the righteous. Now watch. It's going to turn to you. But I am afflicted and in pain. May your salvation, O God, set me securely on high. I will praise the name of God with song and magnify him with thanksgiving. Why? And this will please Yahweh better than an ox, better than sacrificing. Or a young bull with horns and hooves. The humble see it and are glad. You who see God, let your heart revive. For Yahweh hears the needy and does not despise his who are prisoners. See, he heard your cry. Mm. Let heaven and earth praise him. So now because he heard you, the psalm is saying, praise God because he heard my cry. And if you watch the comment section, people are crying for you. Let heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves in them. For God will save Zion and build the cities of Judah that they may dwell there and possess it. Now we know there's a heavenly Zion, heavenly Jerusalem, and that's our mother. The seed of his slaves will inherit it. And those who love his name will dwell in it. Now, let me show you Jesus and Peter. Jesus was walking on water. They were in a boat at night. They saw someone walking on water. They were shocked. They didn't know if it was Jesus or a ghost. So what does Jesus say? But immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, take courage. It is I. Do not 
be afraid. And Peter answered and said to him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Now watch. And he said, come. And getting out of the boat, Peter walked on the water and came toward Jesus. But seeing the wind, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out saying, Lord, save me. Now, this is a physical miracle, but it's supposed to teach you a spiritual truth. The wind here means the winds and waves of your trials and tribulations. You feel like you're being drowned because of the problems and the persecution and afraid. Will my family attack me, disown me? So mm. what here Peter's learning, if you take your eyes off of Jesus, you focus on your problems, you're going to lose faith, you're going to lose hope, and you're going to sink and drown. Notice that when Jesus told him, walk, and he was looking at Jesus, he was able to overcome the wind and the wave as he was looking at Jesus. When did he begin to sink? When he took his eyes off of Jesus, right? Yeah, yeah. So then he started drowning and he got overwhelmed. He cried out, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and took hold of him and said to him, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind stopped. And those who were in the boat worshiped him saying, you are truly God's son. And so you were sinking and drowning because of fear and despair and yeah. confused. And then Jesus reminded you, don't take your eyes off of me. John 14, verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Yeah. That's what happened to you. Yeah. Yeah, it did. I, I remember all I wanted in that moment was to get out of this inescapable place. And I just wanted to see God. I wanted to go to God. I wanted and to he go came. to the other side. And he but came, the one who yeah. came wasn't Muhammad wasn't no. Allah, it was Jesus. Yeah, sorry, I've got a lot of thoughts going through my mind. I <clears throat> sorry. Uh sorry. I didn't know that it was mirrored so much in the Bible. The Bible is real, it's God's word, and your experiences confirm what the Bible already taught you. It's not in the Quran, it's not in the Vedas, mm. it's in the Bible. I'm ready. So I'm if ready. you want to renounce and confess, then here. I confess. I confess. Allah of Islam is a false god. Allah of Islam is a false god. I confess. I confess. Muhammad is an antichrist. Muhammad is an antichrist. A deceiver and a tool of Satan. A deceiver and a tool of Satan. And I renounce him. And I renounce him. I confess that Jesus Christ. I confess that Jesus Christ. Is the risen living Lord. Is the risen living Lord. The Son of God. The Son of God. Yahweh God in the flesh. Yahweh God in the flesh. Who died for my sins. Who died for my sins. And now lives forever to preserve me. And now lives forever to preserve me. And I have no doubt he will return physically. And I have no doubt that he will return physically. Bodily. Bodily. To judge the living and the dead. To judge the living and the dead. And I give him my heart. And I give him my heart. My soul. My soul. My spirit my spirit my mind my mind my body my body i am his completely i am his completely and i love jesus and i love jesus because he first loved me because he first loved me amen amen there you go brother thank you i thank jesus and we love you for being bold to confess jesus he loves you and now heaven's rejoicing for you